that training behind him, those years and years of endurance that he and his coach Elio Lucas have worked so hard on, and it paid off for him today. We're going to look at the C1 men 1,000 metres coming up shortly. As you can see, single-bladed paddle, slightly heavier boat than the kayak, and very, very unstable from the start, although Ali Urania showed that you stick to your race plan, that can work because he came through strongly over the second half of the course there. Right, here we can see the lineup, the C1 men 1,000 metres. So Carlo Taccini, as you see there, the Italian, he'll be in lane one. We'll see him very shortly up at the 1,000 metres. There he is. He's been there or thereabouts for a long time, hasn't he? Fourth place at the Europeans this year. He was eighth at the World Championships, often a World Cup finalist, Carlo Taccini. Alongside him, Cubans. Cubans ever developed. There he is. Barefooted, as many of these C1 paddlers are. Cubans are so good with their technique. They have some great coaches. Paddling with his bro brother Petter as well. His brother Petter has done very well in the under-23 World Championship, so there's a real partnership developing for the future there. Martin Fuchs is the European champion. Sergei Tanovshi. Now, he was... In fact, had to serve a four-year ban, Tarnowski, for a doping infringement. But he's back close to his best. He won a World Cup last in, back in 2020 and has been getting better since then, since his return. Adrian Bart, bronze medalist from the World Championships, perhaps the closest that any of the French panels got to a medal in Tokyo, getting fourth place there. Then we've got Kondrat Scheibner. Now, Scheibner is an interesting character. He learned to surf when he was in Oklahoma at the Super Cup. He had a surf wave there. He'd never tried it before and um, picked it up within a day. So very talented when it comes to anything on water for Konrad Scheibner. Sixth at the Olympic Games for him. Balas Adolf, Hungarian, made the B final of the Olympics. And Mateusz Kaminski, the pole. Uh, is in nine, so a consistent performer on a world stage, but never a medalist, Matthias Kaminski. As you can see the line up there. And a good clean start. You can see the different boats have a different approach to the start. Remember, these are C1, single-bladed paddle, which means, and no rudder, which means steering can be an issue, so they line themselves up at a slight angle, because they know if they're left-handed, more likely to steer towards the right and vice versa. And you can see the left-handed German. He's away well to start with. Konrad Scheibner there. Real character, friendly character. Winner from the World Cup in Hungary. He was delighted, a little bit surprised at the win there. But he's got away to a good start. As we saw from the previous event in the men's kayak, that was important um, for the men's K1000 metre. Fernando Pimenta really blisteringly quick out of the start and maintaining his form there. So we're a quarter into the race. Conrad Scheibner's backed it off. His stroke rate's dropped a little. Now you can see four from the top of your picture is Martin Fuchser in the blue boat there. Real strong, muscular paddler Martin Fuchs just over slightly towards the side of his lane in picture there lane four with a headband on and also lane five Sergei Tarnowski has had a very difficult road back to this sport been on his own training on his own for a long time and uh, just looking forward to getting back into racing and for him hopefully picking up the medals and as you can see from that head-on shot there boat running true running smoothly Lots of power in the stroke there. Not a particularly high stroke rate. We'll probably see a higher stroke rate from Fuchs just behind him. We do. Fuchs are very good over the 500 meter distance. And this race, of course, in the past, hugely dominated by Sebastian Brendel. And Sebastian Brendel, really, towards the end of his career uh, now, he was a double Olympic champion in this event. He was Olympic champion in the C2 event. And often it was down to Martin Fuchser and Isikiros dos Santos from Brazil, who's not here, sadly, to pick up the rest of the medals. But Konrad Scheibner is looking to take on that mantle from Sebastian Brendel, putting himself in contention for a World Championship medal now. Tarnowski still holding the lead. 
Well, Scheibner there looks like he's keeping his powder dry, perhaps just moving up a little bit there in the distinctive pink boats with the German colours on the bow. Right down at the bottom of the picture there, going well at the minute. Kaminsky, he was a really good performer at the Olympic Games, certainly early days, but maybe just found wanting a little bit towards the end of the 1,000-metre races at the Olympics. Now we get to the final quarter, 250 metres to go. This is when the legs are burning, the arms are burning, that you're breathing really, really hard, but it's about trying to maintain that boat speed, and whoever maintains their rhythm and their speed best, they will end up on top now. It looks like Martin Fuchs has put an effort in there right over the right-hand side of his lane. He should really be in the centre there, but he doesn't want to give any wash to the paddler to his left. Tarnowski and Fuchser is looking to take this by the scruff of the, of the neck and take the lead. He's lifted his stroke rate. He's really putting the power down his strokes now. He's just getting into the red, boys. This is where the pain is excruciating. The lactic acid is pumping around the system where the hours and hours and miles and miles of training in the winter prove their worth. And it really is working for Martin Fuchser. He's going to take this win. A really great performance and a strong finish from him. Or is he? Scheibner now. The German is coming at him with everything he has. And Martin Fuchser, the wheels are beginning to fall off. Konrad Scheibner takes the win away from Martin Fuchser. The effort leaves him swimming in the water here. Not seen that before with Martin Fuchser takes a swing in Lake Baugsford and Konrad Scheibner, the young German, well, he got away to a fast start. He showed his speed, didn't he? He kept his powder dry in the middle part of the course. You can see what it means to him. Let's out a yell, Konrad Scheibner, and what a great performance and timing was everything there. He takes the win ahead of Martin Fuchser. Difficult to work out the third place. We'll see that in just a moment. Look at that. The last five or six strokes, Fuchs had given everything. He's almost out of his boat over the line, so that'll have to be double-checked. And then, right next to Konrad Scheibner, Adolf. Balas Adolf from Hungary taking the third place. Just sort of quietly moving through from him, and maybe just trying to track Konrad Scheibner in the lane next to him helped Adolf to take that bronze medal. Came through really, really strongly, but really it looked like it was Martin Fuchs. There he is in picture, really strong in the middle part of the course. We thought we had enough. We thought that Scheibner had left it too late. He hadn't. In fact, it proved he timed it to perfection. Well, the winner from the World Cup in Zegen in Hungary earlier in the summer now takes the win here at the World Championships in Denmark. Great performance from Konrad Scheibner. Konrad, uh, congratulations. You're now a world champion. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's really unbelievable. After I wasn't too satisfied with my performance in Tokyo, I said I wanted to do my best race here. And obviously, I, I did. The last... The last 50 meters was incredible. Oh, yeah, we had a change of tactics. And uh, I really also want to thank my coach at home because he was the one who said, OK, stay cool. And also my mental coach said, you just have the power, go, go, go. And yeah, I just believe in myself. Congratulations, Conrad, world champion. Well done. There you go, self-belief to stick to his race plan. He knew what he had to do. He executed that perfectly, over half a second ahead of Martin Fuchser, only really in the lead over the last couple of metres of, of that race. Balas Adolf taking the bronze medal.